Assalamu alaikum my dear students welcome back again uh, with a new uh, video lecture on gravitation so we are studying the uh, chapter gravitation and uh, we have uh, arrived at uh, uh, acceleration due to gravity uh, we, we have studied this in the previous video lecture and we calculate the acceleration due to gravity and then uh, uh, we will uh, now move on uh, to another topic that's value of uh, g on earth um, although uh, i have told you that the value of uh, g on earth is 9.8 meter per second square uh, but uh, today we will calculate it mathematically how this 9.8 meter per second square uh, can be calculated on the earth so uh, value of g on earth so uh, consider uh, consider the uh, the body is on on or near the surface of earth if uh, this is earth and a, a body is on it okay if a body is uh, is on this uh, surface so i can calculate the value of g and uh, r is considered to be equal to r for example this uh, uh, we consider this uh, and this uh, the distance between uh, these two objects as r and here r is equal to this r where uh, this capital r is the radius of earth okay so whenever we talk about uh, the object which is on the surface of the earth or near the surface of earth we will take uh, this uh, small uh, r that is the distance between the two objects as r this is uh, the radius of the earth so r is here uh, capital r okay and this is uh, radius of the earth so uh, thus far uh, bodies are near uh, near or uh, on the or on the surface of the earth uh, we call g is equal to gm where m is mass mass of the earth divided by r square okay uh, we have calculated it in the in the last video lecture g is equal to gm divided by r square we have calculated it and we know that g is equal to 6.67 into 10 to 10 raised power minus 11 we know it this is the value of g we have also calculated it and we know this this is the mass of the earth okay so this m is equal to m is equal to 6 into 10 raised power 24 kg uh, this is mass of the earth 6 into 10 raised power 24 kg and r that's the radius of the earth is equal to r is equal to 6.4 into 10 raised power 6 meter this is r radius of earth so uh, if i put these values in this equation we will get the value of uh, g so I can write as G is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised power minus 11 multiplied by 6 into 10 raised power 24 divided by uh, 6.4 into 10 raised power 6 whole square. Okay. So when I calculate this, I get... I can write here it as uh, uh, subscript E, which means uh, value of G on Earth. Okay, so when I calculate this, if you calculate this, you will get 9.8 meter per second square. So you have to uh, calculate it on on your own. Okay, so uh, the acceleration due to gravity acts in the direction of line jo joining the center of the Earth. So I can say here the acceleration due to gravity acts uh, acts in the direction of line joining the center of uh, uh, joining the center of the body to the center of Earth. So the acceleration due to gravity acts like this, joining the center of the Earth and this uh, and this line. Okay, so acceleration due to gravity uh, acts like this towards the center. Now we will calculate the value of g on moon okay and uh, we already know that uh, this uh, small g is equal to gm divided by r square okay gm divided by r square so m here is mass of the moon if we 
if we take the uh, moon now. So this is mass of the moon and r is the radius of the moon. Okay. So I can write here as g is equal to 6.67 into 10 is power minus 11. And mass of the moon is uh, 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg. Okay, this is mass of the moon. And radius of the moon is 1.74 into 10 to the power 6 meter. So putting these values in, in this equation, we get G. We get G is equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 multiplied by 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 divided by 1.74 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 meter square. So when I uh, calculate this, I will get 1.63 meter per second square. I can put here the subscript gm. So I get uh, the value of g, acceleration due to gravity, on moon is equal to 1.67 uh, meter per second square. Okay. If we talk about the ratio, uh, uh, ratio of g on, on, on earth and moon, uh, we can also write the ratio. Okay. So this is the ratio gm divided by ge. This is the ratio of uh, acceleration due to gravity on moon and acceleration due to gravity on earth. So we can uh, write it as equal to 1.63, gm is 1.63 and ge is 9.8. Okay. So uh, when you calculate this, you will approximately get 1 by 6. That means, uh, that means gm is equal to uh, acceleration to gravity on moon is uh, nearly equal to okay this is nearly equal to uh, 1 by 6th of 1 by 6th of ge so uh, acceleration due to gravity on moon is nearly equal to 1 by 6th of uh, acceleration due to gravity on earth that means uh, acceleration due to gravity on moon is 1 by 6th of acceleration due to gravity on Earth. That is, uh, the gravitation on Earth is six times more than gravity on uh, gravity on uh, Moon. So, uh, if we look onto this equation, we will see here that the acceleration due to gravity does not depend on on the mass of the object. Okay, it only depends on the uh, on the uh, mass of the Earth. Okay. For example, the uh, Earth is pulling some some object. Uh, the acceleration due to gravity will not depend upon the mass of the object. It will only depend up upon the mass of the Earth. So it's cl clear here that uh, the acceleration due to gravity uh, will depend upon the mass of the Earth. So uh, this m is mass of the Earth. Okay. If we if we talk about the Earth Earth here firstly, so uh, this will uh, depend upon the mass of the Earth. And it will not depend upon the object, okay? Object's mass, as we uh, talk it in the earlier videos. So uh, g will depend upon uh, the capital G, that is a gravitation constant. It will depend upon the mass of the Earth, and it will also depend upon the radius of the Earth. So uh, if we talk uh, talk about the moon, it will depend upon the mass of the moon and uh, radius of the moon. So we uh, we uh, we will uh, generally talk about the value of g in this lesson as the value of g uh, on on Earth. Okay, so this value of g on Earth will depend upon the ma mass of the Earth and radius of the Earth. It will not depend upon the uh, object's mass on which the uh, force of uh, Earth's gravity acts. So we can count. Conclude from this statement that uh, the acceleration due to gravity does not depend upon the mass of the body. So all bodies fall with the same acceleration towards the earth. So we can say that all the bodies uh, fall with the same acceleration towards the earth.
Now we'll talk about the variation of acceleration due to gravity. How this uh, acceleration due to gravity varies. So uh, if you if you uh, look on this uh, onto this equation, g is equal to g m divided by r square. You will see here that g is constant here, okay, uh, and its value is six point six seven to ten to the power minus eleven. So its uh, value is constant everywhere. Uh, that's why we, we call this g as universal uh, gravitational constant. It is uh, its value is uh, uh, same everywhere. That is six point six seven ten to the minus eleven. And uh, value of m is constant. The value of uh, this uh, m is constant. Mass of the Earth is constant. Okay, if we talk about the uh, acceleration due to gravity on Earth, so this is constant. Okay, so m is constant. Uh, g is constant. The value which varies here is r, this radius of the earth. It can vary. How can it vary? Uh, the gravitational constant and mass of the earth are, uh, are always constant. So we can say that uh, this g depends uh, only, on, uh, only on r. So we can say it, g is inversely proportional to r square. Okay, so g here is inversely proportional to r square. As the radius of this Earth decreases, the G will increase. Okay. Uh, as this uh, radius of the Earth increases, the G will also uh, decrease. Okay. If R increases, G will uh, decrease. If R decreases, G will increase. Okay. Let's uh, let's talk about this. How um, how uh, radius of the Earth uh, varies. We know that uh, Earth is not a perfect uh, uh, spherical in shape it is uh, flattened somewhere uh, so the uh, shape of the earth, earth is like this this is geospherical okay this is geospherical in shape it is flattened uh, flattened at the poles okay this is flattened at the poles so these are poles and uh, these are equatorial uh, regions so these are polar regions this is polar region here so here it's also polar region and uh, here it is equatorial region okay equatorial region so if I draw its center its center is somewhere here so its radius here is this and it is uh, like this so uh, the radius of the earth on the polar region is uh, this one i call it as rp this is radius of earth on polar regions and i call this as re radius of earth on equatorial equatorial region so thus the value of radius of the earth does not remain same as you can see here this radius is not same at the po polar regions and, and at the e equatorial re regions. If the Earth was uh, a, a, a perfect spherical in shape, uh, that was true. Uh, that is, the radius of the Earth was, uh, would be constant, but the uh, shape of the Earth is not uh, perfect spherical in shape. It is, it is, uh, it is flattened at the poles. So this uh, radius of the earth is uh, uh, is uh, minimum at the polar regions and it is maximum at the equatorial regions so i can see uh, say that uh, uh, as you can look uh, here uh, in this equation as r decreases the g, g will increase here as r decreases g will increase as r increases g will decrease so I can say here the uh, the uh, gravity, the acceleration due to gravity on polar regions, okay, on polar regions is greater than acceleration due to gravity on equatorial regions. Is it true? Yes, it is true because on the polar regions, the radius of uh, this uh, radius of Earth is minimum. So, if radius here is minimum, the acceleration due to gravity is maximum. And, uh, and the radius of Earth on equatorial region is maximum. So if radius of Earth is maximum, 
the g is minimum so i can say here as uh, acceleration due to gravity on polar regions on uh, polar regions is greater than acceleration due to gravity on equatorial regions so uh, the radius of earth at poles is is minimum okay so the value of g is maximum so and g here is maximum at the poles and the radius of earth at the equator uh, region is uh, maximum so the value of g on the equator region is minimum okay so we can say the value of g varies as we move away from the uh, from the surface of the earth it is maximum at the surface of the earth so if we move away uh, move away from the earth's surface for example if the object is here the radius will also increase if the object is here the uh, radius will further increase so uh, the acceleration due to gravity will decrease okay as the radius of the uh, uh, this uh, radius increases the acceleration due to gravity decreases so the acceleration due to gravity is minimum on the earth's surface and it is it is a maximum at the polar regions when the object is at polar regions okay and it is minimum when the object is at uh, uh, equatorial regions so in other words we can see uh, we can also say as we go deep inside the earth as we go deep inside the earth okay as we go deep inside the earth the, the value of g will decrease the value of g will decrease uh, at the center of the earth it becomes zero okay and uh, at the center of the earth it will become zero 